Hey guys, we are the D Dots, and welcome to our very first mukbang. Um, we are eating. I hope I don't think you guys see that. Il Vecino. I hope I said that right. Mm hmm. Um, you want to tell them what you got? <laughs> I have a chicken pizza with artichokes and portobello mushrooms. That's not cut. That it wasn't cut. I also have a nice salad. Let's see my salad. Mm-hmm. Little dressing. And I have I don't know, I think it was like a tesseroni is what it's called. I don't really know. Um but it got pepperoni, roasted red bell peppers, mushrooms, caramelized onions, kalamata olives. It was supposed I ordered for them like I asked them to put on some uh, pepperoncinis, you know. They didn't do that. It's all right. It's okay. See these good old banana peppers? It's gonna do it. It's gonna do it. I ain't even worried about it. Oh, and I got a uh, lasagna bolognese. I hope it's good. I'm a little worried. I ain't, ain't gonna lie. And I have red onions and fresh jalapeno to add to my pizza. Got me a little barley tea. To sip. What's the benefits of barley tea? It helps your digestion. It also helps with weight loss. It helps you sleep good. That's why it has so much ice in it to water it down a little bit, a little lemon. A little agave. I normally drink it regular, but to spice it up, you know, put a little lemon. I freeze my lemon. And a little bit drizzle a little agave. I just got a little cranberry juice and spray. It's gonna do it for me every time. Every okay. time. Well, since my pizza's not cut, I have to. Do a little work. I, I gotta take a few bites first. <laughs> <laughs> Let me just get this together here. Hold on. It doesn't come with the little scar. We put it in the oven. Don't come with a little scar. This is oven. This is what? My box is moving. This is this was cooked in the in the, the oven. Okay. She don't know what she's talking about all the time. Oh, it didn't come like this. I don't, know. I don't know. I didn't look at it before. It definitely did. I just put it in the oven to keep it warm. I'm about to eat it just like this. All right, that's enough. I'm hungry. It's good. Just they gave me a little bread. Don't laugh, y'all. Yeah, turn up, turn up. Video. All right. Who get it together? Okay. And eventually, the topic is gonna be about um, why we chose to to be content creators, do YouTube. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm. Mm. This is real good. You can get tired of, you know, Domino's and pizza, but we don't eat pizza hood. But Domino's, so we want to try something different. Mm. That banana pepper is really doing it for me. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Mm -hmm. oh. Oh, I smell like that. The, the chili oil is bland. <laughs> okay, let me see some. Mm -mm. It's like. I don't know. Mm. <coughs> you all right? <coughs> I was looking at your face. Mm. Let me take a drink. It's doing a little something with the pizza by itself. 
It is very bland. It's absolutely um, not it. I need some more. All right. Mm, mm, mm. Um, oh, I do have onions. I'm just saying that onion kind of smelling good. <sighs> Let me just smell it real good, actually. But anywho. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, now don't forget the topic. <laughs> we're, we're a little hungry. You want to taste your salad first before we store it? Mm. Mm -mm. Yeah. Trying not to get no pep in my eye. <laughs> So, hmm, okay, with the banana pepper and the spice, so that they need like a little seasoning. It does. It's pretty bland. I need some. I don't need no more bread. I got pizza. Let me see what this salad doing. <clears throat> okay, <laughs> before I forget, I'm supposed to be talking. Um. Sorry. You're fine. Excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> At least we're polite. <laughs> okay, so for me, um, I always wanted to do YouTube, you know, because I keep those always like, oh, that's you know, you can um, you can um, do like cooking videos. She's awesome. Um, you know, and show people how to do stuff because people are always calling me like, oh, how you do this, you know? And then, um, so they just like, you know, you could do cooking videos and just turn it into, you know, a YouTube channel. I never did it. I'm a star. Slowly but surely starting with this. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> What's the process? Especially being pregnant. Um, so we slowly but surely started with this. And I feel like once I get in a rhythm with this. Then I can maybe like do it because I'm somebody where well, I gotta I gotta know how to do it before I do it because I don't want to do it and I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> so this this is really hard for me. This is just, I don't I don't really know what I'm doing. It's out of your comfort zone. Very much so, but can't grow unless you're out of your comfort zone. So I'm doing it. <laughs> so maybe after you know a couple videos. Okay, that's a lot. Maybe after a few months. <laughs> Of us doing it, I'll finally be like, oh, before I cook dinner, let me just grab the camera, you know? I feel like that's the hardest part about it. Cook The cooking is the easy part. The hard part is being like, oh, I got to grab the camera before I start. Anyway, what about you? Just be like, mom, getting ready to cook, and then I'll just have to set the camera up. <laughs> this is a lot be, of I'm shy, though. Lord, I'm very shy. She's an introvert. Ooh. And I'm a intro slash extro. Because I like my space. I like my space, mm. and I'll let you in once I build a relationship with you. For you just to be an outsider, think we just getting ready to click. Mm -hmm. Need a little time. I'll talk to you. What's the topic? <laughs> But we supposed to be talking, so I'm just going over what you said. Oh, I'm fine. Woo, child of mine. So she didn't want to jump out there and and start by herself. So I said, let's do it together. Or did you say let's do it together? I don't know. I was just thinking. And she was like, "Well, mom, what what will we do?" Oh, I said it. And then. What was the name? Well, first I was coming up with a name for her channel. Oh my God, that took so many years. <laughs> when I say years, okay, I can't even say it's all my fault. I've been asking people for a long time. Okay, y'all want me to do YouTube. Let me pick a name, right? Uh, I would give her names. Yeah. She wouldn't like the name. So, I left it alone. 
then, you know, life happened. Mom, I need a YouTube name. Excuse me. So I'm praying. And Lord, forgive us as we show we got to pray over our Oh, food. Lord. We're going to buy it. Lord. Okay. I know it's a little late, Jesus, to come before you to pray for this food. Uh, please let the bites that we have already taken be nourished into our bodies. Let the hands that prepared yes, it not have been nasty. Let them have washed it. Uh, let the food have been fresh and not nasty and old and about to mold. Uh, Lord, let it go to all the parts we needed to. Uh, please let it go all nourish my daughter so she can take a nap so i can take a nap um um uh you want to add anything in jesus name oh amen. amen okay back to what you were saying all right because we we was a little <laughs> starving <Very. Bye> <laughs> and so it wasn't you know life happened and changes happened with my job and everything so we I was like, okay, we need to start, you know, every, you know, we watch YouTube all the time. I mean, we watch everybody's videos all the time. It's like, we can do this. Yep. So we decided mm -hmm. this, the time is now and stop procrastinating. So when I did have the opportunity, I was like, okay, I got your back. I got everything you need. Y'all, she made it so I couldn't even be like, oh, you know, I don't even, <laughs> she was like, mm. I'm just getting all the stuff. So here I am just sending all the stuff. Like, mm, good, okay. We I was taking this. away <laughs> any excuse. Well, I need lighting. Well, we I need backdrop. Well, I need this. I need a table. And it's like God just made everything happen in oh. a way that even with us trying to find chairs, I'm like, we got some fold-up chairs. She was mm. like, no, Mom, we need chairs. Mm. Yeah, literally. Yeah. Literally. <laughs> in a matter of days two cute chairs popped up. I was just like, okay, Lord, I guess today we for real in this thing. So, yeah. And, um, yeah, here we man. are. It ain't my aunties, but that's good, you know. <laughs> so she want to make me none anyways. So. How's your salad? It's pretty good. You know, so. Is it a Greek salad? No, it's got eggs and um, I have to put a little onion. I don't know what this little crusty stuff is, right? Is that a nut? I don't know. I think that's a nut. Yep, walnuts. Mm -hmm. Brain food. And it's got artichokes. It's got tomato. It's got chicken. I don't know. Um, I thought it had some egg in there. I mixed it up. But I'm going to add some jalapeno and some onion. onion. It's not very Italian egg. I don't know. I, let me let me not, cause I'm not Italian. I don't know. Maybe y'all put eggs in y'all salad. I don't know. Um, it came with a slice of bread. I want that bread. Mm. Anyway, was you done talking about? Mm-hmm. <sighs> so here we are, the D dots. <laughs> yeah, it was me, cause yeah, I was like. I was listing all the things I wanted to do. And then I was like, well, are you going to be my special guest on like some of my videos? And she was like, yeah, what are we going to do? What are we going to be doing? And I'm just like, just regular things. And then I don't know how we got, I really don't know. Was it, I don't know if it was from that point. We was like, let's just do it together. Or if it was like, Lord, wait a minute. Or if it, I'm a little excited. something um, else came about. I don't even know. But here we are. The D dots. Oh. Y'all, we just started this video. Ain't asked y'all to uh like, comment, share, nothing. Nothing. I guess we was gonna do that at the end. But I'm gonna ask y'all right now. So uh, y'all can do it right now. And then at the end, y'all can do it again. So don't forget to like the video, leave a comment, and share it out to any and everybody. And you know, right? We are family friendly. Very. And please, if you have any suggestions or comments or topics you want to talk about mm -hmm. as mother and daughter, mm -hmm. send those down in the comment section below. Mm -hmm. mm. 
No, I'm not crazy. <laughs> um, I have a question. Mm. So, because I know I have come to to learn that our relationship is very rare. There's like, there's very few people that I meet that have a relationship with their mother like I do. How, how, I can't even say how did our relationship come about because we've always been like this. Even in the womb. <laughs> <laughs> we've always been like this. So I guess, I don't know. I don't, I can't even think of my question now. Cause like we've, we've literally always been like this. So I can't even say like, how did our relationship come about? Cause it's been always. I don't know. We love to laugh. We cry. Uh, I guess, how do you feel when you, when you hear other people, they're like, well, I don't have a relationship with my mama like you do. Cause people always say it to me. I'm like, you can't just tell your mama this, 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 or, you know, you and your mama just can't have a conversation or, or nothing. Or, me and my mama don't have a relationship like y'all. And I'm just be like, I mean, I'm not saying y'all relationship is exactly the same, but dang, you know? Mm -hmm. I guess my question is, as my mama, how did I really, how, how do, I guess, how do we end up like this? Even though it's been always, like, how has it always <laughs> been like this? Well. Like, no matter what. I'm mad at you two seconds later, we back, like, and vice versa. How? How? I mean, that's literally how our relationship is. We can be mad at each other. She was like, no, you know, I need some space. I give her her space. And then bust out laughing. Ten uh -huh. minutes later, we find something that, you know, mom. Well, yes, you know. Um, I guess it's because we have always, hmm. me being the oldest sibling hmm. in the family, in the I call it the food chain, but you know everybody call it you know something different. Knowing how to be relatable, knowing how to set safe boundaries, um, allow being a listener. Sometimes you know, and most parents will say, "I'm I'm your parent. I'm not your friend." But. I had to learn because of how my daughter is and how I raised her and literally and my um, my village. We have always been protective as a single mom bringing her up. I had to set boundaries and I had to be strict and I had to set standards for her to understand. I'm your advocate. I have to speak for you no matter what. So if you can't trust, you can't come in me and talk about anything, you're going to find somebody else in the streets to talk about it with. And I don't want that. I don't want to be the last to know. I need you to come to me so that we'll be able to work whatever it is out, figure out the strategy we need to work. If it's something that we need to go out and get help with. So we have always had this. We love to, like I said, we love to laugh. If we need time away, if she need to go hang out somewhere, we we give that space. But we have always had a bond. And people, when I was raising her, they would say she needs to go learn how to be a kid. I'm a single parent. You're a husband with a wife. I have to make sure I'm protecting her every moment because I'm a single parent. And as women, we're seen as weaker vessels. So I had to be the strong one. I had to be the enforcer. Wipe the boo boo. <laughs> go go to your room. You on punishment? Can I have a slice of that onion? <laughs> <laughs> go to your room. You on punishment? And you know you feel bad as a single parent, but I had to help let her understand. I'm here. I have to do both roles. So that's where you know. And I'm grateful to God that I always. Stay before him when it comes to raise when it came to raising her, you know. And people be like, "Well, how does she know how to do this?" Because she's still raising your dog, don't it? <laughs> because from the womb, she's always been with me, always. And when I cried, she cried. 
you know, okay. she wiped my tears. When I was angry, she was angry. You know, she became very protective because she understands I'm a giver. And I love to see people happy. I love to see people laugh. I think of others first. So, yeah, that's, and, you know, a lot of people are jealous of our relationship, very envious. But it's like, I say before God when it comes to how I parent. If we're angry with, with each other, or I felt she wasn't listening, I'd be like, Lord, you gave her to me. And that is honestly, the honest to God truth. You gave her to me. I need you to step in because I'm a strangle. Lord, my mom used to tell me I brought you in this world and I'll take you out. And I meant it. But it, it, it was God's love that said no. And I always had an awesome village. to be, Talk to your auntie. Talk to your uncle. You know, y'all better get her. So it, it's important who you allow around your children. Even those who are looking and you don't have a good relationship with your mom. You can start over. Start from where you are and build healthy boundaries. Because a lot of, you know, parents... We got to be strict. You know, I came up when <laughs> my mama was, well, my mom is just a stupid as I am, so I can't say that. You know, mo my mom was a giver. That's she, neighborhood kids, always came to our house mm -hmm. when they wanted to get away from. I came from the era where our neighbors whooped our butts. They whoop, they tell your mama, you got whooped again. So, my neighborhood, my neighborhood friends that I grew up with, they know my mom. I mean, yeah, she's still alive. <laughs> alive and kicking in the same house. <laughs> mm -hmm. Stop by there and say, hey, check on her for me. But um, you, you have to start where you are. If, if it's broken, try to mend it. Especially in the times that we are in now. Keep your, your family close. Go reconcile your differences. We need each other. She's feeding for eating for two, so I understand. <laughs> Eat boo. But yeah, that's how our relationship, we've always been close. When I move, she moved. When I say, um, they, somebody say, well, can you go? Can my child come? And well, you don't handle that. No, because I'm a mother first. And it even came down to that point with my job. I am a parent first. If I cannot parent and do my responsibility in this company, I got to find somewhere else to go. She didn't ask to be born. God gave it to me. But I got to do, I got to find an employer that will allow me. And this was 20 years ago. Allow me to be a parent and work. And when I needed to take off or when I needed to go handle business regarding my child, go. So, that's why we're close. I was just going to say, when you said you always chose like being a parent first, I feel like that's a major part. Major part. You have to. As a parent myself, that's, that's very major. And most people don't understand that even when it, when you bring in outsiders in, they have to understand I'm a, I'm a parent first and people hate when you say we're a package deal. We're literally a package deal because he gave her to me, no matter what situation I was in, where, where, you know, that other parent is my responsibility is to parent according to his will and way. For her life. Is I'm going to eat this whole pizza? The whole pizza? You girl, you're hungry. We didn't, Remember Dunkin' Donuts this morning? I didn't have a Dunkin' Donuts sandwich. Yeah. So, yeah. When you're a single parent, trust and believe, you guys are a package deal. And if they can't function and know that your child comes first, mm -hmm. biblically, your children are alone <laughs> from God. So, you got to do your job and take care of them. Because you don't want that whooping. And I wasn't about to get no whoop from him because his whoopings last longer and harder. Mm -hmm. I'm still hungry. <laughs>
I was gonna say you gonna eat it. <laughs> Mm-mm. Child, I'm stepping my face, okay? But well, I have to tell him why. Yeah, you did. Mm-hmm. You did really good. That was good. That was good. <laughs> that was really good. I'm sorry if I'm smacking. With everything she just said, all that good stuff, <laughs> she has literally become my comfort zone. I don't ever say it's good to bad. But she is my comfort zone, okay? The bar is set high if you want me to be comfortable around you. Maybe it's bad for y'all. It's good. I think it's good for me. Um, <laughs> She literally, she, yeah, my comfort zone. Yeah. Like, when I was little, she did used to say, like, I'm not your little friend, but, like, she only said that a couple times. And then, like, preteen, teenagers, I never really heard her say that. Because you never really had friends. And every time you tried to build friendship, they were jealous of the people who you were trying to be friends with. So I couldn't leave you out there hanging. She, people are really jealous of her because the way she come into people's lives, they kind of flock to her. Jealous of what? And when they flock to her... um. The other friends get jealous because they're drawn to destinies. You know, she's like, okay, we got to do this, this, this. She come, it's not like she come with a manual, but she's like, look, listen here. I'm not the kind of friend that's getting really messy. I don't like drama. I ain't got time for all this craziness. And they end up getting jealous. So they stop being friends with her. So come on, (laughs) you, you belong to me. (laughs) You belong to me. Let's, you know. Let's go. I feel like it was more like I was always the new kid in school. Mm-hmm. And so, like, I was saying to myself, because first of all, like, I'm shy. I'm not going to go walk up to nobody like, hey, I'm destined to be my friend. Uh-uh. No. I'm going I'm to sit here by myself and be quiet and eat this lunch and not say nothing to nobody. And it, honestly, uh, Middle school. <laughs> Dang. Which one? Exactly, y'all. Did you hear her say which one? She put me through, okay? I didn't. It was my job. Uh, is that a part? I wrote that fly? Um, quite honestly, I feel like I was always bullied, I think. Okay, so I'm trying to think. What was the what was the school in Belleville? What was the school in Belleville? Central something. That's but that's what me and the deal went. No, not Central. That was that was the middle, the junior high. Oh, and then, Roosevelt. If you see this, uh, in Belleville. Yeah. She went there, right? Yeah, she did. Cause her and Swiss went there. Okay, okay. It was there. Because I was fifth and sixth grade. Okay, it's coming back. <laughs> Wait, it was, first of all, it was fourth. Mm-hmm. First. Fourth grade finger? started to bully me. Boys used to bully me. Excuse me. They like you. They didn't hey, know how. Before that, before that, I was bullied. The girl was bullying me. Chow. Oh, I yeah. had it rough. Can you tell? <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> I guess the point is, I was always bullied. Um. So... I'm going to say to myself, like, I'm not going to go up to nobody, let nobody hurt my feelings, make my face shatter, none of that. I'm going to say to myself, and I guess it would be like people in my class, not the bullies, not the bullies. Let me tell y'all, because this, this memory going to keep popping up. <laughs> I remember I had went to this. Okay, you keep on, you're going to get eight. Uh, I remember I... uh. What was that school in Liberty down the street from your job? I used to walk to school from your job. Liberty Junior High. Okay. Eighth grade. Yes. Ooh, 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 I remember that story. <laughs> I was new. Okay. Uh, and this was my very first predominantly white school. Uh, yeah. And I have nothing against white people. I love white people. I love y'all. I love all people. Yellow, black, and white. Red, purple, green, blue. Oh, y'all. Um, but it was my very first predominantly white school. You know, so growing up, 
going to school with all types of, of people, you know, they were kind because it all of us, you know, we, we, it's a bunch of us here, you know, we come to school, we all gonna be friends, we all gonna be nice. Well, this was a new grade and a new school in a new environment around with rich kids, okay, and even people who were my race, they was a little, I don't know, they was too uppity for me. I'm from East St. Louis, Illinois, okay? If y'all don't know what it is, Google it. I'm not uppity. People call me bougie, but I'm really not, you know? Uh, anywho, you know, so I'm going in eighth grade with a, with a body, okay? Um, she get it from my mama. <laughs> I had the body since I was 12, all right? You know, boobs, hips, thighs, all of it, okay? My first class was science. Cool. Great. I'm so happy. I love science. So I sit down. I'm the only black girl at the table. Okay. I'm trying to figure out what we're working on and trying to, you know, they're like, oh, this, this, and this. You know, I made a, I made a mistake. I erased something in my arm. You'll see that. My arm, I guess my arm did this. And I'm not focusing on my arm. Like, what? I had this arm for how long how old i was i'm not looking at my arm fat but apparently that was funny because ain't nobody had no arm fat before <laughs> i'm like mm -mm. arm fat and then somehow i'm this is still my first week of school a rumor going around talking about oh destiny has breast implants i'm sorry what <laughs> I you am tell me 13 that. years old. Was I 13? Yeah. I don't know how old I was. 12 going on 13. Implants. You have to be 18 or older. <laughs> I didn't know. Or I think it's get a parent's signature and like really have like an explanation and go through the leaps and bounds to get elective surgery. I was like, you know what? You know what? <laughs> Not breast surgery. <sighs> Ever since then, I've been in predominantly white schools and I've always stayed to myself because. <laughs> <laughs> Not by choice, just where we land. <laughs> no, by choice. I have stayed to myself on purpose. No, I'm talking about the school. Oh. Yeah, no. Uh, yeah. I just. Mm -mm. Right. <gasps> That, that memory always stayed with me, so if y'all thought I was finna just walk up to people and befriend them and ask them to be my friend and join their little clique and no. Mm -mm. No. Somehow somebody would be nice to me and we would be like this, but they would already have friends, you know, because they're not new and their friends would feel some type of way, like I was trying to steal them. I don't want to steal them. Like, I, I, didn't, I didn't think it was about me having a friend, you know what I'm saying? If you hear a little boy, that's my granddaddy. <laughs> he likes to fight his sleep. Anyway. Like he five. Mom. He five. He, like his mom. age. Not no more. <laughs> he gonna miss these naps when he get older. I keep telling him. But yeah. <sighs> this pizza is so good. I guess it makes sense how we ended up each other best friend. Can't trust somebody else. That's the key word. Who better to trust? <laughs> trust. And as the time changes Woo. and as we move and then the pandemic, uh-uh. Mm -mm. I do want to say, hey, Rona. <laughs> Harona. <laughs> What's that? Instead of you. Oh, wrap this up. Harona. Rona. Oh. <laughs> the panoramic. I was like, what? <laughs> yeah. So. <laughs> no, what? I really want this crust, but it's a little hard. Okay. I might need a little ranch. That's one thing I normally eat with pizza, but 
Just don't need it. Uh -uh. Mm. Just because it's not. Is that black on the bottom? Yeah. Oh, okay. It's a good oven. The brick oven. Pizza oven. <laughs> mm. All right, El Vincenzo. El Vincenzo. El Vicino. Wood oven pizza since 1992. El Vicino. Vincino. Well, we thank you. So, thank you all for spending our first mukbang with us mm. and our chitter chatter. Is that how you say it? Huh? That's how you say it. Yeah. Chit chat. No. Mukbang. That's how you say it, right? Yeah. <laughs> I just had to ask. Ooh. I'm a little fool. Still need a little bit of these veggies over here. What veggies? No, this salad. Oh. Are you really better eating? You already dressed in that stuff. I only put the dressing on a little bit and then it, it doesn't evaporate it because I don't I don't see no dress on this stuff at all. Then it go straight to the bottom. Oh, it's on the bottom. Well, they didn't see through. Well, this is a good package. Okay, it's guys. Package. Um. Yeah. I'm gonna wrap this up. I don't know if I can finish this. Thank you all for stopping in. <clears throat> don't forget to like, comment, share. And let us know, how's your relationship with your mother? And if you have any questions that you want to see in future videos, put them down in the comment box. Did you say any questions you want to see in future videos? Yeah, for me. Any questions you want us to ask in, in future videos? In our next video? Discuss? Sure. If you have any, um... <laughs> mm -hmm. If you have any, uh, video suggestions, things that you want us... So I'll talk Excuse about me. things you want to see us do if I, my thought can be finished. Uh, Forgive me, my love. <laughs> if you have anything you want to see us do or talk about, please leave it in the comments below. Mm. Mm. That was real good. I think after my nap, I'm going to eat that lasagna. Uh, <laughs> um... Anything else? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, yeah. Like, comment, share. Um, you never know what anybody's going through. Um, but there's two things you can do to change your mood. Be kind and smile. You gonna smile? I have food in my mouth. Oh, okay, hold on. We're gonna do it again. Chew, 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 chew. this again mm, wait hold on do, do a little do a little napkin wipe a little swishy <laughs> wait because i didn't even do that if i got something in my teeth it's okay all right are we ready yeah oh okay <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I didn't, I didn't know what we was doing. <laughs> Let's run this back. Uh, you never know what someone's going through. Um, but there's two things you can do to change their mood. Be kind and smile. Bye.